him. Yeah, but I've never seen the Diddy in action, so I'm looking for. I, I haven't. I haven't actually gotten the opportunity to cast Peko. Um, I did get to meet him at Apex. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely person. Really, a lot of fun to hang out with, and great start there, finding that banana okay, extension Peko, and I'll opting to. Opting to just take some stage control before getting that banana, not able to find too much, but just racking it on. And so far, Lemon T just hasn't been able to get anything started. But Diddy, I, Diddy is one of my favorite characters in this game, and I play a little Diddy myself. Just such a fun character. Oh and that my! Uh, Pecko! Pecko just, yeah, no, call him out, but Wolf with the banana could be scary. However, Lemon T doing the thing a lot of people do in this matchup, just throwing it away. If you're gonna throw Diddy Banana away, throw it up because it takes longer to fall yeah, in, exactly, into exactly. the blast zone. But also, uh, y'all, learn item count, learn item play, please. Uh, Lemon T looking a little lost here. That, that, I mean, that could be a badge's opinion, but my man looking a little lost right now. Hopefully, he can get this together yeah, here. And I mean, part of it, too, like, I'm surprised he went wolf in this matchup. Maybe he's just not yeah. been playing the fox as much recently. I'm not, again, I'm not, I'm not really sure as to his, his character habits, but oh man, definitely Peko picked in the a, seat here. definitely picked a matchup that on paper is is, is where Peko wants to be. I'm sure he was <gasps> very happy and missing the tech. That's gonna be it. So unfortunate Peko there for Peko. Just on such a roll, but Lemon T catching a little bit of a break. A late Christmas gift here with the red and green of PS2 coming in clutch like Santa Claus. Maybe I'm, I'm loving the Diddy ritual. Yeah, no, I mean, me it's, it's clean. Me too. Like his his like neutral play and, and, and use of movement so far has just been so clean. I mean, opting just to hold shield with a spot dodge. Wow, the eye from Lemon yeah, T. Yeah, great. Let's go. I was gonna say that up smash is frame five, so it's frame so eight out of shield. Like. One of the best moves in the entire game. I couldn't agree more. And just dunk, doing Ooh. so much for this character, but not quite as much as that back hair taking the stall. Again, I don't know how much Diddy Kong experience Lemon T has. Again, still looking kind of lost here, figuring things out as he goes. We might be seeing the switch to the Fox for game two. I mean, who, who? But right now, right, we're not there yet. Game one still in full effect, and once you take, you can take one stock, you could get right back in this. <laughs> Great job true. calling out the monkey flip into now getting an advantage. They're calling out a second one and oh. finding a stock just like okay, that. He only took Lemon 30. T? This game all of a sudden is even. That's Wolf O'Donnell for you folks. Oh, man. Man, man you dropping the last name. That's how you know it's formal okay, right now. Man, That's how you know government. stakes are high. Yeah, we dropping governments out here. Oh. That dash that crosses up uh, so well. I mean, I guess, yeah, his name's uh, Diddy Kong and Wolf O'Donnell. Wolf O'Donnell. The Star Fox names are so legit mm -hmm. <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, you, you, you. I feel like if I heard someone named Wolf O'Donnell, I'd expect him to be a banker on Wall Street. But instead, he's just here with robot legs. Uh, this combat? Hit, hitting you like it's nobody's business in the Smashy Bros. And just all of a sudden, Peko just hasn't been able to land. What a turnaround here from Lemonty. I'm actually kind of surprised. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a... Fantastic, talented player, but Pekka was cooking. Yeah, that SD changed the momentum of the game. And no getting way! Out the, from the roll. Pekka, though, starting to started to get a little bit antsy. You saw him just starting to call out random banana throws, not moving away from the more defensive game plan, and and that bait and punish that found him so much success in the first half of the yeah. game. He felt like he needed to make up ground that he didn't have to make up until he needed to make it up. And then he started to panic. I feel like this has been the theme for tonight. One player starts cooking, the other one adapts mid-game and starts cooking. It's crazy. There's a lot of cooking going yeah. on tonight, folks. And the getting caught by the dash attack, but the banana going to come through clutch means you don't have to deal with Wolf's advantage state. Racking on some damage as well, and somehow it's Peko finding that first significant damage. All right. Again, looking deja vu here. This looking kind of like game one. Peko just getting off with the aggression, mm -hmm. getting a lead. Oh. Okay. I was gonna say, unlike we're even now. This is a little more say, even. Unlike game one, it definitely Lemon T definitely feels a lot more comfortable. Ooh. Maybe he hasn't played a Diddy in a while because it felt like it took him a minute to remember the matchup. But now that he has, right? These players are going back and forth. Peko trying to call out out a little bit of a, you know, DIN maybe yeah. a panic air dodge there. But Lemon T playing it patient, gonna find an advantage state for his troubles, but not the stock as Peko just plays uh, patiently in his own right off ledge. Very good stuff from him. Yeah, again, I don't think Lemon T has that much Diddy Kong experience. I mean, we have Tweak, we have Rivers, but I don't think they play often. So he's learning a matchup in the middle of a tournament set here, but he's doing it beautifully. Yeah, no, I'm mean, really, really good stuff from him here. The up smash, Ooh. however, gonna punish that dash attack picking up the item meant that Wolf couldn't really push a button to contest. If he did, it would have been an item throw, and that's got a little bit of startup. So great call out from Peko to take the first stock. 
But yeah, exactly. But he, Peko no, has gone for kick off monkey flip every single yep. time. I'm I'm really interested if it's just a, a choice thing or no, if, it's if that he's damn definitely good. looking to start conditioning shield more because once he does, you you might see those grabs, right? That pummel rack up a lot of damage. Oh, let's see, still on that first stock for this Diddy Khan. Let's see what kind of extra credit they can get here. <laughs> nair? <laughs> I got I, a little bit. Well, he, got a he tried bit. to nair there to, to catch Banana as well. And and really good stuff from Lemon Tea. Realizing that that's what was going to happen. Tr contesting the Banana there with a hitbox. And Paco just not ready for it. Good. Oh my... Yeah, he went, he went for the... He went for the he went for the tweak special into the other tweak special I right there. I love that spike so much. It's my favorite spike in the game. Dude, I mean, it's so satisfying. It's like, disgusting. Summit, Summit 3 literally was just that clip over and over. Banana drop into down air. But right now, again, Peko having the opportunity to find a significant lead, but not able to close out the second stock. Really starting to give Lemon Tea a lease on life I here. I love that banana there, Ritual. Good stuff. Good coverage there. Yeah, it, Diddy, one of the very few characters in Ultimate who can kind of cover their own their own opportunity Ooh. to ledge. And just like the very first stock of the game, Peko going off, saving his double jump, finding that fair to take the stock. And this time, he does manage to close it out. Has an opportunity to gain a lead, but this is kill percent. And there Wolf it is, is again. Not there it Wolf is. Wolf short for those options. Yeah, I mean, uh, now this is looking very reminiscent to the game one. It's pretty much mm -hmm. the same positions as they were before. Um, and then Lemity just turned up mm -hmm. on the last stock. Yep, and the banana yeah. in hand gonna give Peko an opportunity, but mix up DI from Lemonty gonna allow him to get out, put Peko on the other corner. All right, now Peko just <laughs> beautiful <laughs> barrels mix up, racking on some damage, maybe trying to find his way back. All sorts of janky stuff can happen with that barrel oh, and trying to catch barrels. someone off guard. Those barrels, baby, let's go. Yeah, Paco now just playing patient, and again the flip kick. If he had just grab, if he had yeah. not pressed kick there, that that would have grabbed shield, and that would have been the might have been the game. Yeah, he doesn't really go for the command. Yeah, grab that's what I'm saying. Is, yeah. is it, I don't know if it's con like I feel like if it was conditioning, we would have seen it in that position because it was the perfect opportunity for it. But instead, just Paco. Oh. Okay. Has all these opportunities and and is and is really letting Wolf Shields counter his game plan. Yeah, and they're both busted. The the monkey mm -hmm. flip and the monkey kick are both really good. Yep. Again, Lemon T definitely knows this matchup at least a little bit because he's avoided every single old Z drop Z drop down air that Peko's yeah. thrown out. And Peko now starting to scramble, and this is Wolf with banana. This could be scary. Missing the re-grab off the fair, though. Uh oh. Gonna give him, him back for just a second. These players exchanging banana like nobody's business. And somehow Peko finding his way back to stage and another oh. banana, but miss spacing that up smash. That, that F2 would have been That F2 is underrated. Diddy's F2 is insanely good. Oh, I mean, that move... Yeah, that move is absurd. Banana gonna threaten, force the double uh -oh. jump out. This is a ledge trap situation. And Peko now has to stay calm. He has oh, to play nice patient. There. And maybe this is where we're going to see the flip kick. No, we're just going to see an up smash. Again, that frame five option so fast. As it looked, I want to see a replay of that after after the set. Because it looked like Lemon Tea jumped there. And yeah. Was, and that's a three frame jump squat plus, um, right, that's a three frame jump squat plus an aerial. Yep, falling, falling option. So he was actually caught in landing lag. So that's four frames of landing lag. Yeah. And he just isn't able to. White Wolf doesn't have a frame one option. He literally doesn't have an option fast enough to contest. Maybe frame one shield, but he was caught while he was. And good still stuff in the there air. to Peko to, to keep, mm -hmm. you know, the composure to get that last hit to bring it to a game three here. Let's get it. Absolutely. That time just looking for a Z drop back air, trying to mix up Lemon T a little bit. But Lemon T ready, racking on a little bit of early percent, but not too much here. Now, though, Ooh! he's got the option. Opportunity back air not gonna do it. Great DI from Peko, but he has to find his way out of the corner. And Lemon T's just really opening strong for the first time the set. This set is hype. Oh my, it, it is so explosive, folks. They oh, are speaking of oh. exploding, I mean that was some sparks flying <laughs> over on that left blast zone. Peko losing Bruh. his first stock, and this is just down air mix-ups galore. Lemon Tree T starting to feel himself, and I've I think he he's 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 unlocked the beast. No, yeah, my man's cooking now. It only took him two games to learn the Diddy matchup. You love to see it. Uh oh. Wow, I'm surprised he made that back. Yeah, and this is we finally see Peko right pull a standing grab again. That it's been a very long time since we see oh, him pull a grab really of any sort. We only saw I think four through the first two games, and now we're seeing we've seen one in this game. So not definitely not grabbing too much and. 
Oh, this is not looking good for Peko Ritual. Just kind of mm -hmm. running away here with this lead. Yeah. And what's fascinating is, I don't think we've seen Lemon T have to push shield once this game, right? Nope. That was his the center of his game plan. Those first two games was play slow, play defensive. If play out of shield and whiff punish, we finally see it there because holding shield at ledge so good as an, as, as an edge trapping tool, but he's just not oh. able to get it started. Great DI out of that down tilt up smash confirm as well. Oh, okay. Heko has to get this stop. Okay, my statement still st has to get this stop yep. here. I was gonna say, if he loses this neutral interaction, if he gets put off stage, well, there it is. And no! Let, he let it be him. He let it be him. I think he just accept I think he just kind of gave no, up I mean, mentally. So no, that that foot stool. So being put in that position, you're right below Wolf. Um, Diddy was too low there to actually just jump back. He has to charge barrels, and if you charge barrels, you line up to get down air. So you're kind of stuck between a little bit of a rock and a hard place. That's what he could have done. Is he could have flip kicked there, um, and wall clinged. He could have flip kicked maybe into a wall cling, and then used his wall cling jump, double jump. Up B and found his yeah, way back. Yeah, there are definitely but some, uh, then some just, options there, mm -hmm. but, but then when you're just getting cooked like this. I was this, gonna say, then you're just yeah. put in the same situation where Wolf is getting back before you. He has that double jump. If you're wall clinging, he can he can try and contest you with Nair or yeah. something, put you under the stage. It just so oh, hard. And for a set yeah. that was really close, Peko won game two and then just got mm -hmm. cooked the game yeah. three. Is crazy. I mean, Lemon, he just kind of out adapted him. Like, whatever happened, even though he lost that game two, he jacked into the Matrix. <laughs> has that gigabit ethernet connection that was fiber optic yeah. cables in the back of his head and getting that download on real quick and i mean just closing it out i i was expecting a much closer game three i was expecting last hit last lock last hit like the previous games and lemon T had different plans uh, yeah i mean so. that was i mean th that was still right like that was still a very close game at times it just felt like Paco couldn't find anything started he yeah. didn't and, and again, like, if he was going for those flip kick grabs, yeah, like, if he was going for those monkey flip grabs, grabs at all. Uh, I, I think I think we would actually be looking at, uh, I think we would be looking at, you know, I don't Peko think I saw a, a single one. No, he didn't go for one. Just the kick every yeah, he single kicked, time. He kicked preemptively every time. To yeah. the point that there were times that Lemon T was holding shield, and Peko still just kick the shield he was and conditioning just what is wasn't rewarding himself i mean with the grab maybe like it looked like it but i i just think he forgot about flip kick crowd oh this is Beatty. an apple reviewer oh this is gonna be that a player i am not saucy set. familiar with but it seems um, like you are god i no i i've cast alpha um him at alpha five he's from i want to say he's from long island i'm totally blanking on who i remember he's really good yeah i don't quite remember who he plays